Hey guys, uh, welcome to the 13th governance call of NFTX. Uh, my name is Chop. I'm covering this week again for Finesse uh, due to some personal uh, situations. Uh, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. Just an intro, if, you're, if you've never li listened into uh, one of these governance calls, we do these every week uh, to discuss like the highest topics that are on the agenda, which uh, the core team is working on or things that we've seen happening in a community uh, and like talk about that and discuss that. So if you have anything on your mind and you want to talk about it in person with the team, uh, like with the core team, uh, feel free to always join these calls. They're on Wednesday at 16 uh, UTC. Uh, so uh, before I start with the list, uh, Alex, do you want to talk about anything sure 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 um yep just uh, as usual things are going pretty well and uh for those that um aren't aware like we're pretty much talking every morning we were having a stand-up like right before this uh this governance meeting started so things are super busy and um i made the mistake of looking at token price this morning which i shouldn't have done but <laughs> overall, things are going like amazing behind the scenes. Um, and, you know, I think that the price and stuff, that's probably just noise compared to the work that's actually being done. Um, I'm really excited about our like V2 economic model um, and having Kiwi help with development is, uh, is truly amazing. So that's, yeah, that's excellent. Um, and um, I think Nick will be talking a bit later about some of the product stuff. Um, should I just pass it back to you, Chubb? Yeah, 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 that's cool. Uh, cool. I'll uh, run through the agenda, uh, and then we uh, like we end up with just open floor for discussions and answering any questions. Uh, so as always, I uh, run through the weekend review, which is a blog post that we launch every Monday. Uh, looking back at what happened last week uh, within the NFTX ecosystem, but also a bit outside, uh, like looking at new launches in the NFT scene and all that sort of thing. Um, so looking at this week's Week in Review, uh, there's a, a couple topics that are uh, noteworthy to, to talk about. Uh, two community NFTX faults have been launched uh, over the past week. Uh, two kind of cool ones so uh, well very cool ones actually uh so uh, one is from the art blocks community uh i can't actually pronounce it that well so help uh it's called app apparitions i think yep apparitions uh so it's it's a project uh by aaron penn and he uh and their community has have built a art blocks uh vault which is super cool uh, to see uh, because the art uh, art blocks community is very cool in general, uh, very uh, like uh, grassroots, so that's super dope. And then there's a second fault uh, which is called the 89 seconds atomized, which is a very OG project, uh, which is kind of uh, like I don't think that covered uh, in the like the the daily trading scene, but it's uh, like a legitimate cool project who have uh, bootstrapped the vault. I've been uh, talking with them for the last like one and a half or two months uh, and they uh, finally launched that. Uh, I'm helping them out a bit on also setting up the sushi uh, swap pool. Uh, so that's cool. Um, then there is uh, the, well, the hype brand passing uh we've covered that a little bit in last week's call uh but as not everybody knows uh we had a grant proposal up for a hype which is a nftx ecosystem project in the works by a entire independent team uh built uh well together with scott, scott lewis who's also helping out nftx of course um that grant passed and I've been on a call with them uh, today, actually, uh, like a few hours back on uh, when they're looking to launch, uh, how they're going to launch. Uh, and I've helped them out a bit on uh, prioritizing the marketing and communication side of things. So uh, I'm in the background a little bit helping them, uh, like trying to bootstrap their community. Uh, we'll also obviously use the NFTX channels to do that. Uh, 
and send out uh, alpha invites to anyone that's tied to the NFTX ecosystem. So if you have any like NFT gallery that you want to create or like you have NFTs that you want to show to the world, uh, please like ping me or anyone in the NFTX ecosystem, like a core, core team uh, to get put on the like invite list. Um, that's hype. Then we have product, uh, which I, I'll, I'll leave up to Nick after the summary um, to cover and uh, like uh, look into the future. Uh, and that's about it for the week in review. Um, then there's one topic that I want to address before we move over to product, which is a uh, security review for V2. So Alex just mentioned uh, V2 being like, it's been in the works for the last weeks or months, uh, like really going great. Uh, also adding a lot more value to uh, the entire ecosystem of NFTX and like adding way better incentives uh, for like LPs, liquidity providers. Uh, that's almost done, right, Alex? The like the the, the yeah, coding yeah, part, pretty much. Um, yeah. And like on that on that topic, yeah, Kiwi. As Kiwi's working, he's like been coming up with some pretty great design decisions. Mm -hmm. um, like I have a fair amount of comp sci background, but not nearly as much solidity background as him. Um, so he's like, he's splitting things up into separate modules. Um, and I think like, we're going to, it's going to be such a better starting point for us to build from. Um, yeah. and yeah, I think with the, with the actual security review, do we have a date now? It's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. End yeah, of yeah, this so, month or, okay. Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, while the like the governance proposal for the grant is still in uh, like voting stage, so after this call, I'm actually gonna push it to um, snapshot as it's uh, reached the quorum on the forum. That rhymes. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, if it passes that uh, like voting stuff, <laughs> JV. Uh, if it if it passes that, uh, then. The penciled in date will be from the 5th until the 11th of May. Uh, so that's in three weeks from now, uh, top of my head. Yeah, three weeks. Um, and that will be a public, like uh, what Code Arena always does, like a public contest uh, to uh, review the code. Um, so yeah, that's in three weeks from now. And then deliverables are in four weeks. Yeah, I think the I think the timing's actually really nice. At first, it mm -hmm. felt like it was a little bit further away than we wanted. Yeah, um, but um, there are still there is still like the odd feature request kind of popping up. Um, like this morning, we just kind of asked for a new one. So um, <laughs> yeah, it, it might be nice to have like uh, that extra week or so. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's kind of my part. Uh, I think Nick, if you if you want to take over for the product side of things. Yeah, sure. Um, so as everyone here probably knows, we launched uh, app.nftx.org last week. And that was uh, basically a, a new minting interface for NFTX. And the plan was to roll out everything else, upgrades to everything else, like the redeem functions and the create vault functions uh, as soon as possible afterwards. And um, we had some great feedback on the minter, uh, one particularly around uh, sort of load speeds. Uh, generally really good but we've found that we're going to uh, shift over to using subgraphs to load in a lot of the data which will speed things up for anyone experiencing any load issues um, and any other feedback please do just uh, head over to our canny uh, feature request page uh, or just drop into discord and, and drop some feedback there um, so yeah on the next rollouts we've got redeem uh, which is moving to uh, to the new version of the site at uh, tomorrow is the plan so we're just going through final stages of testing there and that should be live tomorrow uh after that we've then just got the create vaults and manage vaults uh features so those are we're earmarking 29th of april as our rollout for the final upgrade to sort of version one um and with that done the next step will be to integrate v2 so um, that will feature things like the staking contracts and protocol fees um, and much much more interesting ways of creating and managing vaults as well uh, so yeah this will be the kind of quick push to getting nftx into a position where it just works a lot better than it currently does 
And then after that, it'll be, um, again, as quickly as possible, integrating V2 uh, so we can uh, go live with all these extra incentives, which I think we'd all agree are kind of super important at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's an update from product. Sweet. Cool. Thanks, Nick. Um, Thanks. Yeah. I, uh, <coughs> or do you want? It, do you have anything else to say, Chop? Uh, no, I had a topic in mind uh, that I wanted to just bring up. So, uh, like, if you have nothing, then I can uh, raise that. Yeah. No, nothing in particular. I was just gonna like echo Nick's point that uh, it's. I'm looking forward to us having the full front end up, and then also V2, so we can kind of move more into like growth phase. Um, we haven't really been trying to incentivize growth much uh, just because we're waiting to get the V2 out, but that should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super looking forward to that too. Cool. Uh, should, should I drop my, uh, my, uh, oh, Scott asks a question. Uh, what can I hit up about the subgraphs? Is Probably that next? For developing? Yeah. If, if you're looking into like developing subgraphs, uh, yeah, drop me a DM on Discord, just uh, 0x Nick. Cool. Cool. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, so the topic I had in mind, uh, which I was thinking about yesterday, but I was also talking about with uh, a community member on the general chat this morning, is uh, the punk liquidity we still have up from before we changed this like NFTX slash fund uh, uh, like uh, yeah strategy I guess yep. as an LP yep. um, yeah so so I have a feeling that it might be worth to think about uh, how we deal with the kind of inactive uh, liquidity which is on sushi at the moment uh, so I'm I'm, I'm like aiming at uh, attribute four, attribute five, a zombie, and all the uh, like uh, the female uh, pools, um, because right now it feels like some of those pools, such as the fem the female uh, pool, is not really used in any way and could add a lot of value if we uh, collapse these funds into the punk basic fund. So yeah. I'm not like a super expert on. Uh, like valuating uh, attribute four versus uh, the 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 stuff that's in the punk it, basic. It, it doesn't seem like oh shit sorry can yeah. you hear me yeah, yeah. It doesn't it doesn't seem like there's um there's much of a price difference between attribute mm -hmm. four I, I could see those appreciating more like over a long time mm -hmm. uh, but yeah short term I don't think that. Uh, it, this is something you know I, I would like to talk about a bit. Of course, like my original vision um, for NFTX was to like mm -hmm. split up liquidity into lots of little baskets that are very targeted, and then combine those into balancer pools. Yep. Um, and we've kind of we've kind of seen that there's not as much demand for these high level balancer pool tokens as we thought because mm -hmm. of the added friction, um, and that the floor pools are actually getting by far the most uh, the most usage. Yep. So that. Um, and in combination with the naming stuff, so like, you know, we gave we gave the D2 balancer pool arguably the best name, Punk, yep, yep. Um, when it kind of makes sense to have the token with the strongest liquidity effects having the best name. Mm -hmm. um, so like, yeah, I think our plan is now for like V2 when we do a migration is that Punk Basic will get named as Punk. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, so then, like, the one thing we haven't really spoken about so much um, is how these other uh, kind of, like, long tail funds uh, fit, or vaults, as we call them now, fit into the broader picture. Yeah. Um, I'm, so I, what, what I think would happen if we collapsed, so, like, let's say we collapsed female um, and punk attribute four, mm -hmm. um, there's definitely like a bit of alpha there, like no doubt statistically females do sell for more and punk attribute fours do sell for more. So we'd probably get like some bots or like mercenaries coming through redeeming the good stuff. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't be like, you know, the vault would get a bunch of turnover um, and it wouldn't be that you big of a two? deal. You mean? Yeah. Um, like the... if we collapse those into one, 
like we, I, I would love to get that punk, um, to get that floor punk fund, like really strong, uh, mm-hmm. like, you know, 200, 200 plus punks, um, yep. at least. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you know, even if, if, let's say we collapse them and let's say, you know, the, we lose a little bit of ETH in the process. Um, I don't think it would be much. Um, mm-hmm. we definitely wouldn't want to collapse. We wouldn't want to collapse the fives. Uh, no, no, no. Much more expensive. Yeah, yeah. those are like sixty ETH at the moment. I think. Yeah, um, but yeah, and that's kind of another question, like how we even. Um, I don't. I don't know if we want to move away from the hyphen stuff. Um, like, do we want like a, a fund like Punk Attribute Five? Basically, a big part of V two as well is that because we're having these targeted redemption fees, mm-hmm. um, the you know. V1, it was mostly about giving people fun, fungible exposure. Um, and V2, um, the fungible exposure is, is like a byproduct that's that people can still have and which is nice. Mm-hmm. But the you know the big value add is that people can now pool their inventory basically. And whenever somebody does a targeted redeem, um, that incurs a 10% fee, and then that fee can then be distributed to these inventory providers. So yeah. basically, it's like a it's a DeFi Lego that lets big NFT holders um, earn money uh, yeah. by you know flipping their NFTs constantly without actually having to do the work. Um, mm-hmm. So the the vaults that I think will get the most popularity are vaults, you know, like the Mask Vault, um, which has like a high quantity but also a, a pretty high price, um, right? So it's yeah. like, because a vault like that will get a lot of turnover. Um, so somebody that's, you know, supplying liquidity or inventory to this, to the mask vault, chances are they're going to be making a lot more money um, mm-hmm. than somebody supplying it to the attribute five vault. Um, so I, yeah, that's, you know, it's something that I don't have a, a perfect solution to, like whether we even want to migrate all the vaults over, or maybe we kind of want to discontinue certain ones and say, hey, let's just focus really strong on basically floor vaults. Um, I don't know. Because um, I'm still yeah. partly like in love with this the original idea of like giving people zombie exposure and like Euler beat exposure. And But I know that that's just, it doesn't really fit as well with the V2 model. Yeah, not yet at least. Like uh, yeah. maybe maybe at a later stage with different yeah. features. I think that's yeah, I think not timing. I, Mm-hmm. True. Sorry, Alex. True. No, no, for sure. Yeah, it's just like I think we might need a, a slightly different product for these very high value NFTs, um, where there might only like a, if we do like a Euler Beats fund, a vault, there there might only be like one or two or three items in that vault. Um, so it, I think that that will require a slightly different mechanism. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's that's enough rambling for me. If anyone has thoughts. No, I'm I'm on the on the same uh, same track as your thoughts. So that's cool. good. Um, uh, yeah. So like, and it, yeah. If people have thoughts too, um, and you don't feel like speaking up now, feel free to you know make a forum post. But yeah, go mm-hmm. ahead, chop. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say like this discussion will probably end up in a forum post uh, when we're more near like the rollout of a V2 uh, to production when we have to think about migration and all that stuff. Like it's probably. If we're gonna migrate or collapse uh, like a female pool into Punk Basic or then called Punk, uh, it's probably a good uh, like timing opportunity to do it during the V2 migration, right? Yes, uh, I definitely think the V2 migration is the time to do it because yeah. people are gonna have to be um, kind of burning their own token for the new one anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, once once we're getting closer to that, probably like around the time of the security review, yeah. um, we can really get into this. It's it's a tough issue because on one hand, like we do want to have like a cohesive brand and a very strong mm-hmm. vision. Um, like, you know, like come to the site, you got like punk, glyph, mask, you know, it sounds like yeah. there's somebody who's, you know, thinking this stuff through. But on the other hand, we are permissionless. Um, so ultimately, you know, people can come and make their own vaults. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's about us, you know, looking at both sides of that coin and uh, yep. just finding a, a way to make it, make it work. Cool. Cool, man. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, that was it uh, yeah. for my, uh, my thoughts. So uh, I don't know if anyone else has questions or like topics that they want to address. I, I saw Theo here before. Yeah. He's, he's still here. Oh, he's muted. Yeah. We usually we ask, we yeah. ask him to jump in at the end if we have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> How's yeah, it going? Right. 
no. Nice, nice point about the fraction of the pool that can be uh, maybe uh, a challenge in the long term. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks, yeah. man. How, how are things going with Bunchy? Quite good. We are doing the design, user testing things, and beginning to code. So it's cool. Cool. Nice, man. Nice, man. I'm, sure. I'm really looking forward to the to see that rollout. Yes, we will keep you updated uh, really soon. Nice. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping you guys uh, make another advertisement video soon. That first one was Maybe. very got me got me so hyped. <laughs> Maybe stay tuned. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, oh. Yes, to finish with the NFTX uh, related stuff, not so many news. I think we are getting closer for the rare integration, but not so much right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think the only thing to, to figure out still is Oracle, right? Yes, yes, but uh, need to check with Kiwi because he, it seems they found something. So okay, need to check with him. Yeah, yeah, cool. If you if you uh, if you need me there, uh, feel free to loop me in again. Thanks. Cool. Um, and Chop, there's a Jorge has a question here in the chat as well about Binance. Uh, about Binance, are we? working on getting the token on Binance or any other exchange. So uh, that's a good question. Are we, so the question Jorge asks mm-hmm. is, are we looking at uh, centralized exchanges essentially to be listed? Uh, aside from if if I would be looking into those things, all those things are always under uh, NDA stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> it, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so, so if I would be working on that, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I have, I have, a, I have a feeling that that sort of thing is happening. But yeah, I yeah. Don't know. that's, all, <laughs> yeah, that's so, all I'll say. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, for for uh, centralized exchanges in general, one thing to note is that, uh, 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 like, with with being listed on centralized exchanges being nice from a like a. Uh, visibility point of view for like uh, people that aren't that deep into DeFi, uh, it does, or it's going to introduce a risk uh, for governance because uh, tokens being on a exchange or a centralized exchange will not be able to vote anymore uh, because the systems we use to vote are based on on chain snapshots uh, using like snapshot.page. Uh, w- which basically looks at your wallet uh, balance. And because the wallet balance, when you have your tokens on a centralized exchange, isn't actually your wallet, uh, so you can't vote. So that's just one, like if if we get listed on the centralized exchange, that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to par- participate in governance votes, uh, always make sure to have your tokens uh, in your own uh, like controlled wallet. Um, and one thing I'll, I'll mention on that as well, because um, it, it does seem it's come up a couple of times in the last week or so, um, is that, you know, people are kind of asking, like, there are other chains out there now that are getting um, talked about more um, and, like, whether we're interested in deploying on other chains. Um, basically, as, as a lot of people know, like, I'm, I'm kind of like a vocal Ethereum maxi. Uh, but at the same time, I do think that it's good for us to be as many places as we can. Um, and so, yeah, I, that's definitely stuff that we are pursuing and that like I'm in support of. Um, I like as I put in the original light paper, we'll always be based on Ethereum, like Ethereum's our home. Uh, but I think the fact that we are so vocally and publicly pro Ethereum, it does allow us to also, um, dabble with other chains and possibly, you know, earn more money so that we can put more, uh, more funds towards building and, uh, yeah, uh, encouraging growth in the ecosystem. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like, like I, I fully support that also from like anywhere, uh, like any chain that or side chain or L2, uh, that has a active NFT community, uh, should probably be able to use NFTX, uh, as mm-hmm. as we like provide value, so 
Yeah, and yeah, we're the type of we're the type of protocol that we don't have to um, like we don't have to put all of our eggs in one basket necessarily. Mm-hmm. It's good for yeah. us to be everywhere. Uh, yeah. But yeah, with that said, I'm a huge ETH maxi, and I don't see that changing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Is there any effort to add the NFTX being used to supply liquidity for governance in Snapshot? Um, have we looked at like the sushi strategy at all or any of well, those sorry, NFTX um, places? Can you ask that again, Scott? Yeah, so like there's NFTX being used to supply liquidity against Punk Basic. So it'd be awesome if that NFTX could be represented in governance via the snapshot strategy oh yeah um Mm -hmm. so i mean basically the thing is that nftx that's being used um to support but most of it's coming from the treasury um but i guess what you're saying is for people that are supplying liquidity on sushi swap it'd be nice if they could do that and then also still vote um yeah that that is kind of cool idea yeah um it's something we should definitely think about yeah yeah, I used mm-hmm. most of my NFTX to supply liquidity, <laughs> so I was voting before, but now I'm not able to vote. So yeah, that's a good cool. point. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll push that on uh, on my agenda to uh, to figure out. Yeah, I like that Thanks, thought. Normally, our votes yeah. aren't too um, like controversial, but right, right, right. Um, it, yeah, I do like that idea. Um, yeah, cool. Cool. Um, yeah, just on that, we also want to be thinking about. Um, in fact, yeah, if we're if we're doing locked LP tokens uh, for staking, then using that as well. If yeah. it's not NFTX. On yes. our our side with V2, you mean? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, that's all I need to say. Yeah, same for me. So